Hi, I'm Bonnie Browning, Executive Show Director for the American Quilter Society, and today I'm here to show you how to use the handy AQS Quilters Calculator. This is a tool everyone should have in their arsenal of tools. First of all, it'll tell you what size to make your quilt to fit a specific size of bed, and the best part of it is it takes the math out of figuring out how much fabric to buy. Let's take a close look at the calculator. You can see that we can cut squares, half squares, quarter squares, 60 degree diamonds, 45 degree diamonds, and a variety of rectangles and strips. So if our quilt needed to have three and a half inch finished squares, that would be cut four inches, so you can see you can use either dimension. We just draw down this slide on our calculator to that point. You can see when we get down here at the bottom, you can see that out of a fourth of a yard, we can get 20 a half a yard 40, three four sixty, and one yard we can cut 90 four inch squares. If we needed 120, you can see that if we add these two dimensions together, one half yard and one yard, we'd buy one and a half yards of fabric, which would give us 130 squares, plenty for the 120 we need. All right, let's flip it over and look at the other side. On this side, we have a calculator for figuring how much you need for backing, binding, and borders. And so let's say we're going to make the most popular size quilt, which is a queen size, 80 by 100, 80 by 100 inches. And you can see that we need five and three quarters yards of fabric for the backing, if we piece it vertically. We need 10 and a half yards of binding. And then depending on how wide you might want to make your borders, your additional dimensions to help you with that. It also gives you mattress top sizes and tells you how big your quilt would be if you add a, a drop on the sides of your quilt. If you don't have one of these in your toolbox, you can get one by going to AmericanQuilter.com and just search the word calculator. It'll take you right there so that you can get one of these and be able to use it the next time you go shopping to make a quilt.